As we go on, we remember all the time. Oh, no, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> These notebooks are from a, am I recording? Yes, okay, good. This is always a constant panic. Okay, don't look at the back of my hair. The hair is definitely meant to only be viewed from the front. <laughs> Hi, we're channeling very choose your 2000s year case do. There will be a lot of hair flipping in this video because that's just how I'm feeling today. Okay, you can't really see it, but this shirt is an Edward Cullen shirt, so. Also got my B cam. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to Things That Bring Me Joy. Today's edition, paper, paper, notebook, stationery. Mmm, delicious. What I write with, my pen collection, my pencil pouch, and that's it. That's the whole video. Hope you're into this stuff. So the first item we have to discuss, quite frankly, is something that I'm nervous to pronounce because it's German and she did French in high school. This is the Leuchtturm. We're gonna go with it. 1917 edition notebooks. I believe this is the color Sage. It was a gift from Sana. It is my eighth bullet journal that I've gone through if you look back over yonder you can see the other selections that i've had i've tried a couple non leuchtturm notebooks and i've always been sad so these are definitely my go-to holy grail bullet journal medium interestingly when i was trying to look up how to pronounce the name of this German company. There is a video that I came across. Was, I think it was a video from like nine years ago. It showed a bunch of the execs at the Leuchtturm company and just a bunch of old white dudes trying to make money. The competition is really stiff and it took a while for us to assert ourselves on the market. We like risk, but only if we can afford it. It's great fun to launch a new concept, like releasing a balloon and watching it soar. At the moment, they're selling up to 1 million notebooks annually but they want to sell more in Europe, Asia, or the US. It doesn't matter where. There's wildfires all over the globe. There's flooding all over the globe. Literally the effects of climate change that they've been talking about happening for the past 50 years are happening now before our eyes. Are you guys excited? Let's go back to work. Let's keep working, keep working. If you know of any indie notebook makers that aren't white dudes, hit me up. Hello, editing Marion here and Kiki. Just wanted to jump in here really quick to say that if you've made it this far in the video, um, you probably either like me <laughs> or you are interested in stationery. Of all of the things that I'm showing, I probably won't repurchase any of these things except for the notebooks and the pen ink. I'm becoming more and more aware about how personally, the more that I kind of watch things, I see them as kind of like mini advertisements. I am in a way selling you a lifestyle, my lifestyle. I'm kind of selling you this like idealized self. So if this video has inspired you to buy any of these things, I would love to urge you to really think twice about those purchases. Is this something that you like actually want or need or will use? Or will they be like me and like, you know, I had this bullet journal phase where I was like following all these bullet journal people on Instagram. And then I found myself with like two sets of highlighters that have been nice to have, but I won't buy them again because I don't need them. If you do think about buying any of these things, I really recommend seeing if you can find them secondhand on eBay or just asking the question of yourself, like, do I actually need this? In relation to that is that there is so much emphasis put on individual behaviors getting us out of the mess we find ourselves in at the moment. Consume less, buy secondhand and like, while those things are great and admirable, we're not gonna like consume our way out of the climate emergency. And quite frankly, 
the big corporations and fossil fuels want us to focus on like our individual actions. So we um, ignore trying to get rid of them. So just a reminder to put those things in perspective too, because I know I definitely internalize a lot of the, it's gotta be me changing everything about like my life, my lifestyle. And that's just kind of a distraction tactic. I'll link two videos that I've watched lately that I found to be very, very helpful. Yeah, just kind of wanted to add a little bookend to this haul of sorts because uh, this is a like quite a consumerist video. Yes. What do you think, Kiki? Yeah. She says, I'm gonna clean my beans. That's all. You may return. If you know of any indie notebook makers that aren't white dudes, hit me up. You've probably seen these before, but if not, it's a classic dot layout. I usually kind of keep up with things on a monthly basis. Can I show the index here? Is there anything weird in here? Here's the index. I'm gonna blur out a couple of things just for my privacy. I'm also gonna do a finance video pretty soon. If it's out, I'll link it. If it's not, I'm gonna talk about money and how I manage money as a freelancer and an artist, which leads me to thank you to the people who keep this little corner of the internet going. And if you would like to support this channel too, thank you, it's very nice of you. I will leave the details in the description of this video because if I don't say it, then you won't know it's there. I'm not gonna do a full walkthrough because I find my bullet journals to be quite personal. It's mostly to-do lists and then like for example, in, in this bullet journal, I was taking notes on the book All About Love by Bell Hooks. This is what I do in every single one of my bullet journals is I do a list of nice things people have said to me. When I'm having a tough day, I'm like, go go to the nice, the nice things list. Go to the third party validation list. That is item numero uno. Now some other honorable mentions of notebooks, which are these. These are from Choosing Keeping. Now, look at this design. Look at these aranyas. Eh? I always get the lined versions because I use them for journaling. I think they make them out of old wallpaper and they are all handmade journals. So they are not cheap. They are very much a treat. Tagline. This is their thinner ones, but I am quite a prolific journaler. I like to go for their extra thick ones. This one was a gift from Fran and I've also got another one which let me grab it for you. It's definitely got some discoloration from it being in my bag a lot. Hardback, very important to me. I, yeah, I don't like a, a softback notebook. I know they are heavier. Also just like the, the attention to detail, the end papers. I wrote the dates that I filled these up. So this was May 2021 through November and yes, I have filled <laughs> the entirety of this notebook because I have a lot of thoughts and feelings. And I try to journal three pages a day because I did the artist's way. So it's kind of like morning pages, but I just do it at some point during the day. Now let's go into the writing utensils. Now, kindly observe a tag on this, okay? This is very Mary and Honey behavior here. I was like, I wanna keep a tag on it until I filmed this video. Why? I don't know. Second hand on eBay, which is my goal and my dream in life. So you ready? Oh God, it like pains me to do this, but here we go. Oh, <laughs> one, <clears throat> just a second. God, okay, all the flatmates yelling at the cat. Times we. Oh God, kind of hurts my soul to do that. I got this because I want my pens to be laid out flat. Look at her, she's beautiful. The original ones of these I think come with like colored pencils or markers, but mine came with nothing in it. It was empty. We go left, left from right, was that good? When are you gonna use like a tiny fine point, so fine, that the camera's like, I would rather focus on you. Oh, hi, okay, right? So fine, when am I gonna use that, really? So I'm trying to, you know, 
use the gifts that I've been given. I specifically use this pen to fill in in my bullet journal when I do a daily log, the time that I woke up, that's it. I make a yellow dot, that's the entire purpose of this pen. It is my wake up pen. So now you two have met, hey, hey. I've also got just your bog standard old black Sharpie and a ruler. It's got these handy dandy little elasticy things that keep everything in place. Moving over to the right, that's some more Stabulo. These are the Swingline Cool Collection highlighters. They're pastel range. And then I just clip this onto the rubber band section and then they stay in place. So now we've got my erasable pens. So these are from Muji. Here is what I have done. I'm still using my Muji pen bodies. I've found that Pilot do erasable refills and the Muji erasers will still erase them. So that's what I've been using those for. I really like them for bullet journaling. You've gotta be okay with the information that you write with them disappearing because they do fade with time and heat, but I'm okay with everything in my bullet journal one day just evaporating from existence, that's fine. It's really nice to be able to write things in pen, but also erase it just for the, the cleanliness satisfaction of the page. But I am getting more acquainted with permanent ink, trying to be okay with permanence, letting things go. Right next to my Muji slash Pilot Friction Frankenstein, collection are my erasable highlighters. These are by Pilot Friction Light Pastel Collection. Those are just also nice accent colors that I will use in my bullet journaling. The only ones that I've replaced so far is the black ink in the erasable ones. Everything else is, I don't use them very much. In this little side zip pocket, I've got some really thin washi tape. I've got the nib that my fountain pen came with. This is a fine lamy nib. I used to carry this around too, just to give to people that have been stopped by the police so they have the information of what their rights are. And then there's also a little clear pouch here where I'm keeping stickers. And many of these stickers are mega old or reclaimed from friends' collections when they're cleaning out their stuff. So that is my Kath Kidson travel pencil pouch with the transportation pattern. Last but not least, my fountain pen. Lamy Safari in, I don't know, like lemon yellow or something. I bought the extra fine nib to go on it because I like a skinny ligature. That can't be what it's called skinny line <laughs> and I can actually show you the ink as well that I use. I got this one when I was in New York at a stationery shop whose name I will put in the description. Pearl Noir glass jar recyclable cap. I've got the refill cartridge thing in here right so I can just refill it from the ink pot. It lasts me I would say about 10 days max. So if I am going somewhere for a week and I didn't fill up my pen right before I leave, I'll take this little travel guy with me. I also got a Parker Quink. Never said that out loud. They're 57 mil bottle. I got it at a, I guess you would call it a mom and pop stationery shop in East London, Newman Stationery. And this has been lasting me a good long while. It's a bit messy, the refill process. I usually have black fingers for like a day afterwards, but it's nice to have switched to this pen instead of just throwing away disposable pens all the time. This is plastic. The interior is plastic too, but it's nicer than constantly throwing away plastic refills. This bottle is glass with plastic cap. And that's it. That's my story about pen, 
and paper and the elements that are in my life. I hope you've enjoyed. I love videos knowing about what people use and I will list everything in the description if I can find a link and I'll see you soon.